Yeah. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe, leave mm-hmm. a comment, and uh, give us a thumbs up. That's right. Now go start the episode. Let's go. Big dog, let's just show my roof. It's Avistado, yeah, my clan be wildin'. Talk so much shit, you can hear me smiling on the phone, drinking Henny playing Bliss 2000. What's the code for unlimited turbo? It's a show, got a limit commercials. I was going through the motions like a dance rehearsal. Read a book, read a book, read a motherfucking book. R E A D A B O O K. Yo, what's going on? Yo, get off your phone, man. Yeah, come on, starting man. Come on. The episode like that. Yeah. come on, man. Did you start the episode? Of course. Why would you do that? I'm always ready. He's that has nothing to do with being ready. Because he's Omar. See, when Why you not? stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Feel me? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm over here you know, <laughs> letting niggas know we got an episode coming up. <laughs> Damn, you going to make me start this over? Nah, man. It's all good luck. I'm, I'm yeah, we just, we just right going to have you sit here awkwardly like this. You know? <laughs> You know, but you're supposed to get your... Uh, How you supposed to learn, <laughs> ass? I ain't, I ain't even get my ad-lib on my song when I started out with the song, feel me? It's all good. It's all good. You gonna tell niggas why you walked in here singing Megatron by Nicki Minaj? Whoa. Yeah, all right, Buck. What are we getting into today? <laughs> <laughs> How was everybody week, man? How we, you guys feeling? Well, first off... We're gonna get into this intro. Uh-huh. You know, we're professionals now. Uh-huh. And we got a imaginary docket in the order of things uh-huh. and shit like that. Uh-huh. Hey, drum rolls. I already know that this is Av Camp with that motherfucking nigga, the bar guy, eight guy, you can have a stottle. Yo, it's Buck Throw, aka Too Loud, the freaking Odie Venture, yeah, the nasty one. And in the back, we got the superstar of the group. What uh-huh. else? My man, Two Guns Up. What uh-huh. else? The Two Guns Sugar Dugger. What uh-huh. else? No face, no case. What uh-huh. else? The Young Wizard Kelly. Uh-huh. What else? <laughs> what else? <laughs> oh, Oh, what? Oh, Measy. Let's go, let's go. Yo, let's yo, yo, go. welcome to episode yo. 71 of Something Venture, the Venture Clan podcast. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, Y'all watching this on YouTube right now. Thank y'all for watching. If y'all listening to this everywhere, this is available to be listened to. Thank you for listening. I yo, you feel me, nigga? Yeah, be out here. It's episode uh-huh. 71, nigga. Mm-hmm. Never Getting thought I would started. make it this far. Mm-hmm. All right. Don't doubt it. You feel me? <laughs> All right, what's going on, niggas? Yeah, how y'all here now. Yeah, much, make sure y'all man. make sure y'all subscribe, follow, like, <clears throat> comment, do all of that shit. Tell your friends about us. All right. You feel me? Well, you're yeah. cool, Uncle. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> we'll get your beers and we talk to you about women at inappropriate right. times. Mm. It's been a, it's been What's a minute. On your chest? It's been a minute, man. I've been thinking about why why this nigga Abby hating on me, man. Oh yeah, why? I finally well, I finally figured it out, man. It out. <laughs> Listen to this bullshit. Method to I the finally, heat. I finally figured it out, man. What is it? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He trying to load a clip. <laughs> right? Talking about stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Yeah, what you mean? Yeah, with this yeah, nigga yeah. getting ready. I finally figured it out, man. Okay. What is it? Go ahead. Hmm? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> so much buildup. You feel me? So much Yo, I, fa- I found the cure for cancer. Huh? I nah, forget about it. <laughs> 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 yeah, I ain't care about me when I had the cure. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> nah, y'all want to kill me? Fuck yeah, nigga, you know? Yo, Yo why am my ox not jacking me right now? Pause. Oh, yeah, you was trying to play. So you trying to do something smooth. It's all good. Nigga. It's all good. Uh-huh. Maybe later. Stay ready and gotta get ready. No! Ah, oh, uh, man, what else? Yeah. What are you getting into? <laughs> <laughs> not that. Right? Well, clearly. Whatever that was. Right? Cancel that. Yes. Oh, I finally <laughs> figured it out. I finally <laughs> figured it out. <laughs> Yo, I'm so glad you didn't figure it out four seconds later, because I was about to say something, and that would have been a crazy interruption. Ooh. Oh, yeah. word. Nah, yeah, but go ahead. This is way better than how I was about to start. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, it's not gonna have the same effect no more. So let's nah, you on. gotta do it. You, Damn, you, can just, it you can just tell us at this yeah. point. Right, fuck it. Fuck you already it. got it. I hear it. Shape up better. My car fast. My drip better. My clothes fit better. My hose better. My tattoos better. Yeah, it didn't have the same impact. It wouldn't even have been that amazing the first time. I talk better than you. Yo, shout out to your honor. You lost that battle, but that was a good little thing you did there. Yeah, it was. He's nigga playing fucking Afro beats. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, I seen that clip. I'm like, what is he talking about right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, my shit. clothes look better. My clothes look better. <laughs> my no, head look better. My you. clothes fit better. I'm bigger than you. I'm, I'm bigger than you. You're smaller than me. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga said my bitch better. <laughs> nah, that's a fact. <laughs> yeah, that nigga tried to get through that scheme like 12 times. Yeah, they kept, every time, because every time he kept it going, niggas like, oh, he had to start from the top. Uh-huh. Then the nigga gets to the end and does the whole shit backwards. Like, we get to this, like, yo, in case you forgot, it's like, nigga, you're, nigga, your clothes smaller than mine, your brand smaller than mine, my bitch bigger than yours, your bitch smaller than mine. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? I, I gotta go I'm look jock, at that. Yeah, his battle. name is um, Your Honor. Your Honor. Yeah. Oh man, that that shit was funny. I was just I was just like going through the story. I was like, oh shit, the fuck. And I after that, that's when I saw that other the other clip that I played before. Oh, yeah, like, oh, okay. giant. Yeah. Y'all gotta get your, y'all got your rap battle shit, man. You hate the app, man. It's a good eight dollars. <laughs> I'm going to get back into it, man, because the security guard at my job, like, that's all he does. Mm. Like, he just sits down. Instead of walking around doing his shit, he just be watching battles, be cracking up in the corner. I'm like, yo. And you going to watch rap battles so you could like, <laughs> ask him out on a date? Dead. Because I ain't never did no shit because another <laughs> man was doing it. You feel me? You feel me, nigga? Yo. All right? They call me Big Tox out here, nigga. Dead. All right? Do I need to remind you why? <laughs> why tox. Do I need to remind you why you keep hating on me? They call me Big Tox. You feel me? <laughs> You're a fucking Tox. You hear the yeah. sound of the tick? You yes. hear the sound Dead. of the Tox, nigga? Yeah, y'all are some toxic niggas. And get it right. This nigga okay, y'all. This nigga, what's wrong with you? Yeah. This nigga's the toxic, toxic prime yeah. minister. <laughs> <laughs> okay? A toxic nigga. This nigga's low toxicity. <laughs> First villain of the Power Rangers, like Lord Detoxing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, what? Are, how was your week, man? No, my week was my week was crazy. Burr. Yeah, how did it start? Good crazy. Bad. Us, you know, you gonna throw another R.I.P. out to Kobe Bryant. You know, we, oh yeah, that yeah, shit man. happened this on that episode. The aftermath, definitely, right. definitely. Yeah, so we found the full details. You know, R.I.P. Kobe Bryant. R.P. his daughter Gianna Bryant. Mm-hmm. Uh, rest in peace to everybody else who was on the helicopter. I can't remember your names mm-hmm. individually at this moment. Mm-hmm. And that was just a crazy week, man. I, I fucking like was tearing up like seven times this week, yo. Niggas doing all these fucking tributes and shit. I'm like, yeah. Oh damn, like Very can touching. we can we can we have twenty four seconds of silence? You gonna time it? Yeah, I'm gonna time it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know you're not up there counting with your fucking finger. You got a whole smartphone. Come on, man. And then you laughing like... <laughs> Come on, man. I can't Did we at least get just, eight? <laughs> nah, you, boy, you got to like five. This nigga here, yo. It's all good. Uh, fuck, uh, we I, appreciate I, it. We appreciate the moment of silence I did. Uh, yeah. He tried to count on his fingers. I don't know why he would do that. But, um, you know, RIP to them. We we love them. Our prayers go out to the families and all mm. of that. You know, uh, it's impacted so many people. So many people, you know, celebrities and normal mm. people have been uh, voicing their emotions and opinions on that. So that's our stance on that, you know. Um, what else is out here? Wait, is everybody done talking about their week? Um, I don't think I even talked about <laughs> He didn't my... even fully get into his week. <laughs> yeah, it was, like, it was a crazy yeah, it was just like It was mostly oh, like it, work, you know. You know? It was that, uh, work, uh, Went to a vision board party yesterday. Yep. That was, yeah, yeah, yeah. How did that go? I didn't, even, I didn't even know that was a thing. I see someone else's story. They were having these vision boards party mm-hmm. yeah that's the thing like oh shit yeah it's like you basically just take like a big ass like poster board mm-hmm. and cut up like magazine mm-hmm. clips that like relate to things you're trying to like accomplish this year mm-hmm. and you just make like a big ass collage put it in your house somewhere you can see it so it like keeps you on track of like all the things you said you wanted to do like you do it at the beginning of the year so like for the whole year you can see all of the shit that you said you wanted to get done this year okay you know? it's, it's it's really dope. it was a good time shout out to the host Word, shout out to the fame well, guy. What was what was one of the main things you guys had on your vision board that y'all would accomplish if y'all don't mind me asking? Um, you know, it, a, a lot of the vision boards had like uh similar elements and common themes. You know, everybody wanted to eat better, Word. niggas wanted to, you know, map out, you know, their future, make sure it was good in certain aspects of shit, music or whatever yeah. career they pertaining to. So it was like you could see a little bit of similarities between everybody's boards, but everybody's shit came out unique, which was dope. I personally liked watching how everybody went about it, like the process into like, because when you're doing it, you just got a whole bunch of magazines and a blank board. So you got to kind of organize your thoughts and really get into like, all right, what am I trying to represent here? And like put that shit on that uh, that okay. canvas. So it was dope watching everybody's different like techniques and shit. So 
That's what mm-hmm. I fuck with it. I think that's definitely something people should do more often. No, we're, it, was really but it, looked, it looked interesting. It, was, it, was, it, was, it, looked, it looked interesting. Lit. You know, and the amount yeah. of time it take you to do it is like, yo, if you don't look at this shit after that, or at least try to do some nah, shit. Od, you really just burnt like five hours of your life. Yeah, yeah, that shit was dope. That was <clears> my <throat> week. Yeah, uh, that's pretty much it, man. <clears throat> work, work is bullshit. We all know that. Yeah, had, you had another training, or that that was that one training. Yeah, I ain't trying to oh, do yeah, no more yeah, trainings. Yeah. Um, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm in the process of my new job. Like, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm in the final stages yeah. of starting that. And shout out mm-hmm. to everybody going through a transition. This nigga bug <laughs> pointed. <laughs> I don't know why that was funny. Shut I'm up. not going through a transition because that just this nigga that's misleading. Looked, this nigga Buck looked looked on uh, ratter ladder on, on on fucking Thursday. Was it Friday or Thursday? What were you talking about? Dapper Dapper Buck. Oh yeah, you like that, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did he yeah, say yeah. ratter ladder. I don't know what he was talking he about. Said he looked ratter ladder. Rat ratter ratter <laughs> he ladder. Ratter ladder. Ratter, ratter, ratter ladder. ladder. <laughs> I said ratter. Ladder. <laughs> he must have said. What the fuck does that mean, Kobe dapper. Bryant? Like I looked huh? rather dapper. Oh no, no, no. What's yeah. rather ladder mean? I just heard fucking somebody say. So it sounds like. Did you make it up? Are you the somebody? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That's Are the you shit. the somebody? You no, heard no. Said? What Joe said about B dot. You remember? Nah. Rather ladder. He said B dot. You look rather. Joe Budden said it. <laughs> you look rather ladder. Yes. Yeah, I don't know, but I, I look. look this about B dot. They rather they even posted would be that picture, and so they I, wrote I that same you caption. Noticing that <laughs> that I was fly, I was fly as shit. How you I look amazing that? in a suit. So you know, I was out there suited and talk your shit. Talk your shit. Me, I, you know, out there doing what I do, do it best. How you do it when you're doing it? Shout out to Melania. Be best. I take that shit to heart. Where are you going? Where was I going? Handle business. <laughs> Guess Ooh. what? Guess what happened? Business was handled. <laughs> Bodies <laughs> handling them. But Jeez. other than that, my week was uh, my week was cool, man. My week was cool. My week was cool. How's your week? What you do over there? Yo, I thought it was over for me on Wednesday, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. How you feeling? <clears throat> Tummy's all right. I told you, man. It's all right now, but like when I'm praying, I could still kind of like feel it because a lot mm. of movement. But yo, <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of things don't go right <laughs> inside. You can't see what's yo. wrong, so it's like, oh, it should your be back, anything. your back is everything, bro. I told you about sleeping with them fat women, yo, dad. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but it, that is definitely true. People who got back problems, uh-huh. yo, they just, yo, that shit is like. But, I, it makes it seem like it's unbearable. Like, yeah, oh, I, I, if this shit like, happens, the main part of your body. Yeah, bro. like you're not really doing if, much movement if without this it. This shit happens again. I'm telling you, I'm gonna get one of those like necklace that I forgot. The life alert. Yeah, the life alert. <laughs> necklace, the the bro. Bed, like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, well, what happened? Like, were you out? So, like, you I, couldn't like like I normally get. Uh, I had like back injuries from you know from high school and shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So like. I get I get these like muscle spasm from time to time, but normally it will last like a minute or two, and I allow to do it. I can't really move, so all mm-hmm. I do is kind of like sit down and let it go by, yeah. and I stretch out and go by my day. But this Wednesday morning, mm. I, I woke up and it happened to be I did my normal routine, and when I went to went, went to shower, it came out. It was I, I was still feeling a little pain. Yeah, mm-hmm. and while I was getting dressed. Some shit kicked in. Oh my fucking god! I I thought somebody somebody was stabbing me in my back, bro. So I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> then I had to like drop, like I had to like drop, lay down a bit. Mm-hmm. Then my muscles just felt like somebody was twisting it. Oh, wow. Even more painful, like to a point where like I could not move. So I'm like, you know, I can't wait. Let me just lay here for a bit. So for about a good thirty minutes, the pain is still going. Damn, 30 like, nah. minutes in. Yeah, I'm like, yo, I got to call somebody. I got to call somebody. I'm trying to get up now to go call somebody. I can't move my back, bro. Yo. <laughs> I'm I'm over here like. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell y'all what really happened. <laughs> yo, yo. Now, nah, I want to I get your two cents on it. So I, my, uh, <laughs> my cousin finally came in the house. Where he was like, yo, what are you doing to the floor? I'm like, yo, bro, I cannot <laughs> I'm mean, here, bro. I cannot move. Like. You was in the living room? Yes, I was in the living room. Oh, my so phone you, is in the fell, room. Oh, so when you fell, you like, you <laughs> yeah. really on the floor and yeah. shit. Oh, you lucky homie came in the house. That's right. What the fuck are you doing on the floor? Like, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I can't move. 
until, you know, he called my brother and everything. You know, I ended up going to the ER. Mm. By that time when I... They had to come get you or they, like, wound up getting you in the car and they drove you? Yeah, I mean, eventually, you know, the pain went away a bit. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. was able to get up then, you know, went to the the ER. Even when I went to the ER, I couldn't sit down because getting up was fucking painful. So, like, I I just... I was just pacing around. The guard keeps telling me, yo, you can sit down. I'm like, yo, I told you already, I can't sit down. (laughs) Getting up is ridiculous. Sit down again, that's it. That's the last (laughs) sit I'm taking. I feel you. I'm... How are you feeling now? Are you feeling better? Yeah, a lot better, a lot better. That's what's up, Definitely. Man. That's what's up, yeah. You know, I had to I had to put some yoga routine in my morning, you mm-hmm. know, my morning routine. Mm-hmm. I wake up, do a little stretch switch out for a bit. Keep switch the body it up for a on bit. his toes, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop driving everywhere, feel me? Taking mm-hmm. stairs every now and then. Mm-hmm. Rah, rah, rah. That's wild, because you live on like the fifth floor, <laughs> In a walk-up, <laughs> now I'm talking about like work wise because we you know it's, we got like different uh, floors instead wow, of taking man. the elevator up and down like take the stairs every now and again yeah, every yeah. now and then little changes like that can really have you know major impacts on your on yeah. our health and shit yeah, whoever had whoever had a chronic muscle spasm you feel my pain caught a Charlie horse <laughs> once that's the only other pain I could kind of that like kinda... try to place it to like I could, I'd be scared as fuck if some mm. shit like that happened to my back man. back pain is the worst Maybe. what yeah. I'm uh, glad you didn't get you didn't get your jokes in, man. What's going on? Are you want me to tell you what nah, really happened? Nah, nah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'll save it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll save it. Oh yeah, before we get into things, I I I've been forgetting to do I forgot to do this last week. Uh I'm gonna give a shout out to my guy Maurice Myers. Yeah, uh, you feel me? Uh, this mm-hmm. dude we went to high school with it's my guy right there. He just uh released his first book of poems it's called Read The Experiment. Book. R e a d a b o o. Okay, <laughs> word. So you know if y'all y'all want to check out his book, it's a good book. You know I want to support whack shit. I don't yeah. support whack shit. So can, can you like hold it still for a bit oh, yeah, so my people fault. can like you know feel me? Yeah, it's, it's my hands is in the way. Ah, uh, like are you straight? Yeah, it's called the experiment by Maurice Myers. It's available right now on Amazon. It's mm-hmm. free if you get the Kindle version. It's the, mm-hmm. if you want the paperback, it's ten dollars. You know I like to actually like hold and read books. So. You know, y'all go do that. Shout out my guy doing big things, all right? You feel me? Shout out to that man. That's what's up. That's a fact. That's a fact. You Let know? alone niggas on light, light reading book. He actually wrote one. Nah, no, that's a fact. It's a good book, too. It's mm-hmm. some good poems in there, you know? It's I like when you. niggas do poetry, but they're not trying to be mad, like, over the top, holding a skull with the shit. Like, mm-hmm. you feel me? So it was a good book. It was yeah. a good read. That real poetry <laughs> comes from the heart, man, and your experiences. Spit, spit, sure spit some of your shit, here. but... My poetry? With, with the Phoenix and that. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Back, back in my days when I used to, you know, uh, spearhead the uh, recruit, the recruit, uh, the recruit process for uh, the org, I used to uh, exaggerate so much so that one of our brothers almost did not pledge. He thought this was a cult. Like, he, the way I was giving the sermon, he thought, like, yo, I'm not with none of that devil shit. The, the, the phoenix is rising. The, the flames don't go out for a thousand years. That sounds like some, <laughs> some shit my family wouldn't be into. <laughs> I can't bring that home. I was like, nah, man, nah. I'm just, I always just, I, 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 I was exaggerating. What the fuck? I will walk into a meeting at 18 and nigga telling me, the phoenix shall rise again from the ash of the burnt world. World. <laughs> Burning bright, okay, brilliantly. And when, and when the, the sky passion is clouded <laughs> with the smoke from the extinguishable flames, <laughs> we rise to burn the remains, silver and all of its glory. Shit like that, nigga. I'm going bang on. bang. I'm going right to the bursar's <laughs> office. <laughs> Give me I would my get money to that part. It got to a point, you know, they get to a certain part in the presentation. You know, you all the brothers are taking turns. You know, in the in the frat to. To speak, but it get to that part. I'm like, oh, 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 and I get up and I talk about the phoenix, our mascot. So shout out to to that and shit like that. So I know my homie was going in in there. So y'all check that book out. You feel me? Amazon. That's how we support. I'm glad to see my son manifesting. You know, shit like that into reality. That's All right, up. that's what's up. I got topics for today. <sighs> what are we talking about? Some today? fuck shit going on. Take it back now. Oh, it's a lot of stuff. Uh, you know it's hard because everybody's kind of reflecting on their mortality. Uh, their mortality. I saying that right? No. Mortality. Yeah, you go. Yeah. There we go. More th- on their mortality. Lada, since lada. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> they get to put a spell on. Hey, me. Did you look it up? <laughs> yeah, no results came up. Get the fuck out. <laughs> get the fuck out. I typed in ladder ladder. Nigga said, "Did you mean ladder or ladder?" Yeah. 
So, uh, so since Kobe passed, so everybody's been on the like, yo, like, you know, mad reflective. So, nah, some fuck shit going on here. Nah, I bet. I bet. Fuck shit don't stop. All right. Uh, <clears throat> where y'all want to start? Y'all want to start with the mind blowing shit or the nah, niggas ain't do that? Let's start with the second one. The nah, niggas ain't do that? Yeah. Do <clears throat> what? What? I said what? I ain't hear what y'all just said. This nigga. We're going to go into the next topic. <laughs> yeah, that's what we said. That's what we're going to do. All right. So, uh, one, one second. Mm-hmm. I took a screenshot. All right. Boom. <clears throat> it was a nigga named... Uh, where's this nigga shit at? I think like Kwan or some shit. Yeah, it's like Kwan or like Kwan Wilson or some shit. Few years ago, this is in 2012. This nigga um, paid his man's to kill his mom. To kill his mom. Yeah, his mom was like a successful like salon owner in Chicago. She bought this nigga like Mustangs, all kind of shit. Like she was racking up. Mm-hmm. This nigga paid his man's to kill his mom's, and the man's snuck into their house, stuck into the mom's house, shot her in the head. And then, like, I guess, like, her boyfriend was there or some shit. Knocks the boyfriend unconscious. The the son is like, yo, make sure that bitch is dead. Nigga stabs the mom up after she, he already shot in the head to make sure she's dead. This nigga uh, gets the insurance money, like, empties our bank accounts and shit. <clears throat> and just lives it up. This nigga's working on his rap career. What? They got footage of this nigga just, like, outside one day, just, like... Throwing money into like the street, I was like, "Nah, these are my fans," and he got caught. Like this, he did this in 2012. He got caught this year. All of that shit. They had to, they played the video of him giving out money as part of like the trial or whatever. Wow. Yeah. To his own <clears throat> mother. Mm-hmm. Fuck who was me. giving him shit anyway? Yeah, he used the money to. Customized the Mustang she had given him and get gullwing doors. On one occasion, he withdrew thousands. He withdrew thousands of dollars from a bank and tossed wads of cash to a crowd of people he said were fans of his rap music, capturing the moments in a YouTube video that was played for the jury. <laughs> played for the jury, for the judge right. and the jury. <laughs> they said they gave this nigga the verdict. Nigga just slouched in his chair and nodded. Nigga said when asked if he had anything to say before the judge made his ruling, the nigga said. I just want to say nobody loves my mother more than me. She was all I had. That's it. What? They gave that nigga 99 years in jail. Yeah, gave that nigga 99 years. And I heard they give the killer a honey, right? Yeah, and they gave his man's a (laughs) honey. For fame? That's what we out here killing our mothers? Who? Already giving you the fucking money. Like. Sell the Mustang. What more can I do for you? Like, I've given you life. I've given you shelter, food. I put shit on your back. Made sure you went to school. You betray me, nigga? How you gonna betray me, nigga? Damn, yo, damn. What is happening on... What are you guys' thoughts on that? What do you, is it society to blame? Is it... Is it no, nah, you can't blame society. Of social you, media? Can't, you can't blame society. This is that yeah, nigga's it's just brain him. is retarded. Like, I don't know what kind of mental health a, issue yeah. he has. <laughs> Cause that even makes sense. Like, wow, he retarded and his man's is retarded. Like the fact he got away with it for a couple years, a nice long amount of years. I'm eight years. You said 2012. Mm-hmm. That's too damn long for that murder to just be sitting there like that. Is I wonder and, how like that happened. Like the investigation started, and for the guy that was willing to kill his man's mother too. Like that's nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like who's the who's worse? Somebody like, had to. Somebody had to snitch because somebody, I think somebody took the man's to the house. Like, mm. But then it's also like, you feel me? Banks probably look into that shit. Like nah, you were drawing you? tons and tons of money <laughs> and... Like what's happening to it? We're, we haven't seen the person whose name is on the account in how long? Yeah. And you keep doing like these you withdrawals. Just keep taking money out. And now it's, I'm, and I'm sure there's no money going back in unless the businesses are self-sustaining it. You know, and it's like, all right, there's a cycle or however that shit works where there's a certain amount of cash coming in at all times. But even then, it's just like, yo, she ain't making an appearance and you just pulling out all this money. 
Oh yeah, look into that. Look into this is thousands of dollars. She don't even have. And you're right. They definitely look at your spending habits. Like, oh yeah, she don't ever be pulling out seven thousand dollars, eight thousand dollars, or more at a time, like this. Like, what's get going though. on? So this nigga Omizi texted me the like <laughs> screenshot of the caption that said "rather lathered." Mm. <laughs> We're still on that. Huh? Which he said "rather <laughs> lathered." Like, if, am I? He sent this shit. It said, rather lathered. I just want you to know what the definition of lathered is, right? <laughs> In reference to soap or a similar cleansing substance, form or cause to form a frothy white mass of bubbles. Second definition, to cover something with liberal, with liberal amounts of a substance. So I just want to say pause <laughs> to this nigga telling this nigga that he looked rather lathered wow. the other day. I was just saying you, you look you look clean, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. Nah, that's a different thing. Yo, you look clean, you sharp. <laughs> <laughs> you look clean, boy. You look rather lavid. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Nah, I just that's wanted to show you that, you know, where I got it from. I got you. It's still I, gay. I understand. <laughs> it's not less gay. It's a little more. <laughs> man, I'm not gay no more. <laughs> Stop. So you still gay? It's confusing. Stop playing those, those, those <laughs> children games, man. Does your mom know you gay? Me, <laughs> we used to pull that, that bullshit. Right? But yeah, that was wild. So. No, that was wild. That was a wild story. I don't believe that, you know, that's evil. I, I ain't looking at it no other way, but that's evil. Like, yeah. damn, nigga, that's your life giver, bro. You set her up. You couldn't even do it yourself, you coward. Like, get out of here. Then she already, like, giving you money and shit. Yeah. Like, it's like, yeah, you didn't want to work. I, I didn't wish want, I had somebody buying me things yeah, and getting me you, shit. Like, not only did you not want to work, you didn't want to work, <coughs> you still wanted all the benefits of getting like money and shit and taking care of, and then you wanted to rap and shit. Like, and you blowing the money on a whack rap girl. And then you, yeah, and then you throwing the money away. You killed this woman for this money, and then you don't talk about, oh, this is for my fans and do, you know, make it rain for publicity. Like, that nigga's is weird. Blood money, bro. Yeah, well, you got 99 years to think about it. <laughs> right. 99 years of life on the wall. <laughs> you might not even live for that long. Top take is going to be down. looking yeah, at you right? in prison. Like, you like to kill moms, nigga? Y'all got a mom, nigga. Y'all got a mom, nigga. I would kill for my moms, nigga. You killed her, nigga. Ah, uh, <clears throat> my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Words, it's mad. Mad scuffle noise. <clears throat> mad at this, like. Even when the God. camera's too and close and a to the A lot of the time when niggas go to jail, it be mom that be visiting. So niggas take that mother shit to the... And to the <laughs> man who did the job, you're stupid. Like, damn. Another nigga... Yo. That that nigga's no old. money's worth it. No wow. money's yeah, worth it. Yeah, like what? She got 99 years to to think about how dumb that was. Uh, what, what else we got, man? It feels like it's we dragging it. That up. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> but that was just wild. Like, you don't hear shit like that every day. I got some other shit. I'm a little shocked. Something. Here's a little something on the light-hearted side. Did you guys hear about uh, Peter Guns getting a new job? Yeah, he he's hosting cheaters now. He's hosting cheaters. Peter Guns, the guy who's always getting caught cheating. He's hosting cheaters. I guess uh, that... It makes sense. I feel like he's <laughs> not as, as like... I feel like he's not good at speaking. Mm. So it's like, I feel like he's going to be like a difficult host. Like, cause he always getting caught cheating. So I feel like he's just going to be standing there with dumb face. Like, yo, you know, you got a family. You shouldn't be doing this. I don't know. Yo, what if, <laughs> what if the, when he's like catching somebody cheating, it's like the girl he was like cheating with. And Ooh. then like another camera crew comes out <laughs> with the original host. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like like, yeah, nigga, this is a clever ruse the whole time. <laughs> you were cheating, like. Nah, but that's what's up. I'm glad you got a job. Yeah, right? Because you got your, a lot of kids ca- to feed. Count your, count your blessings and get the bag. I feel it. But, you know. See? So. And I just want y'all to know for the record, Peter, guns is Puerto Rican. Because black men don't cheat. It's a big fact. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Me, Puerto Ricans are. It's, there's. Okay. They're, Let's they're, move. Yo, I, I dated somebody who's Puerto Rican before. Uh-huh. Her ancestry results mm-hmm. said she wasn't black. Said she was like ninety percent white from Spain. Ninety mm-hmm. percent. Oh. That's a yeah. huge portion. Yeah. And ten percent not black. <laughs> I don't know what that wasn't black. 
I used to be waiting for her to say nigga. I would say nigga extra just to <laughs> see if they would say nigga. And just be like, ooh. Sheesh. What else we got going on out here in this world? I found out uh, earlier today that uh, not everyone has an inner monologue in their head. No? No. You got an inner monologue in your head? Like, you could think in, like, complete synthesis and hear your voice, like... Yeah, everybody don't got that. I just found that out today. Really? Yeah, I've seen some article about it. Everybody don't got that. Is that why some people just be saying shit out loud? Yeah, they don't have that. Wow. Like, they can't have a full conversation with themselves in their head and, like, hear their voice, like... That's shit. interesting. That's been my shit since birth. That's, <laughs> that's wild. You feel me? How do you, like, talk... Through like plans and stuff, like, I'm like oh, I'm about to do this. Well, what will happen if I do that? Well, this will happen if I do that. Uh, I now they don't. That's probably the niggas that's always whispering to themselves, like because they wild. can't, right. they can't hear their. Yeah, own like mic. you know, you'd be on the train in your head, and you'd be like, I, right, I know I'm about to deck this nigga, and it's the nigga in the corner whispering like, yeah, these motherfucking things are fucking game. Huh? <laughs> 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 See if you could have just said that uh-huh. here. <laughs> We would have no problem. Wow. Now I wouldn't be I mean, that's, that's, Yeah, that's good to know. They should, you know, spread that information. So, so you can see when somebody's acting it's, out, you could be like, okay, I see why you're doing this. Because you don't have to. It, it could be, nah, that, it could it, be that, many reasons. Yeah, like, I don't want to say it's just because they don't got an inner monologue. That could, but, that could go both ways, too. So, like, the niggas who do have inner monologue, are they crazy? Are we the crazy ones? Like, I don't know. Nah. They, they probably think they're normal. Yeah. And we're crazy. Oh, every time I... Think about like, you know, inner monologue or the voice in my head is like, oh, I'm solving a problem. Like I usually, you know, how, how do you guys, you guys just, that's wow. It's interesting. Yeah. They said uh, some people have, uh, some people's thoughts are like sentences they hear and some people just have abstract nonverbal thoughts and have to consciously verbalize them. Some people have thoughts like sentences. Interesting. So I guess everybody else's thought is like pictures and they got to be like, yo, this is my idea. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's, it looks like, a, I don't know, visual yeah. learners. I don't know. Interesting. I thought everybody, you, you, you learn something new every day. That's a fact. <clears throat> That's all I got. That's all, <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have. I you guys, what do you guys hear about this? Uh, no, what do you guys think about this? So uh, what would you do if you're performing, right? You're performing your song, you're in a concert. You know, typical shit. And, like, there's somebody behind you just, like, screaming your ex's name repeatedly throughout the entire show. Are you going to say something to that person? Or are you going to just, like, ignore them? And There's somebody behind me? Yeah, like, you know, in the crowd. Like, you know how you, you're, you're on a stage or a platform where, like... You mean, like, in front of me in the crowd? Nah, it's more, like, behind you on the side. Like, you know how, like, on, on, some, on stage, some stages, stages come, come out, out and it's just like, a people, nigga back here. Yeah, just like, your ex, whatever <laughs> your ex name is, your ex, like, all night, like, all night. Would you address that fan or that person, or would you just be like, yo, fuck this nigga? Like, I hear him, because you can hear him. He's dumb close, like... Oh, yeah, now you gotta go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you gotta go. Because it's like, I mean, oh, what do you I, do with hecklers? Like, hecklers be wilding. If, I, if I'm an artist performing and my fans love me to death, and like, I could, I'm in the middle of my rap, I would say some shit in regards to, uh, I don't like somebody in here and I'll describe them. Mm-hmm. If you fuck with me, can you please deck that person? I'd be like, y'all need y'all make some noise if y'all fuck with me. Yo, beat this that nigga, nigga ass yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> You probably would. They probably would definitely. If I could get, get away trouble. with that, I would definitely do that on stage. So well, uh, if y'all fucked with me, y'all would beat this nigga's ass. So, y'all would. So Just the saying. performer uh, Hazley, you know that she used to go out with like G Easy or whatever, was having a show. Hey, Halsey. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Listen to <laughs> yeah. We just be calling niggas. <laughs> is it Halsley? Is that how it's like pronounced? If I yeah, I think if it's I mispronounced Hazy, that, Hazy. Hazy. Uh, it is Hazley. Go with Hazy. <laughs> I thought it was Hazley, yeah, but if it's Halsley, that's what's up. Um, so know, she was performing. She used to go out with G Easy or whatever. <laughs> so there's this guy behind her, and he's just yelling G Easy all night. Like, so she turns around and she's like, "Yo, you scream G Easy one more fucking time, and I'm gonna kick you off this fucking show." So she don't know who's actually doing it. So she just goes over to the area like, "Yo, is this one of y'all?" But mind you, the crowd is going crazy because they hype like, "Oh yeah, tell that person." Ah. But nobody's like <laughs> giving up. Like, "Oh, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Was it you? Was it you? I don't know who the fuck it was." But like, "Yo, y'all say that shit." Gonna get out of my show. She like continues to perform and shit. I was just like, oh no, that's what's up. Did he do it again? Nah, I don't think so. I don't think so. 
Because like, niggas like, gonna snitch at that point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's like if I'm enjoying the show and like mm. she's over here and she's like, yo, was it you? I'm gonna say I mean, no, it wasn't me. But like if she's threatening to kick niggas mm-hmm. out, mm-hmm. you know. Can, can you can you really kick them out? I mean, it's your show. Out, if you got the security, yo, get this okay. nigga out of here. Or if like if the promoter who's you know throwing the show or whatever, like yo, I'm pretty sure they're gonna want to cater to what I say. Yo, this guy's disrupting. Can you please escort him out? Okay. Yeah, get this nigga out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Beat, break his legs when you take when you kick him out of here too. <laughs> you know? Tell him to be easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pull the A I'm gonna tell him to come on stage. Then, Lift that nigga up. Tell tell niggas to move out the way and throw him. On the- sheesh. <laughs> nah, niggas be wilding. I can't have that much power. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's hard out here, man. I'm just be at my show, but yeah, I don't want to physically interact with y'all. Yeah, remember when they threw that <laughs> bottle of water at Wayne? He just left. <laughs> he got hit with that shit. He's like, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck y'all. I don't have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yo, speaking of I already water, got yo, paid. I seen niggas do a, a like a, a drink at Cardi B in the club the other day. Nah. Oh, oh and offset decked that nigga. That nigga offset. Oh, bro. what happened? What? Niggas threw this shit. The announcer like, oh, niggas throwing shit. You see this nigga offset come out, nigga look. They were like, oh, they go offset. Boom. Like that nigga dove off the stage into the punch, son. Yep. Yo. I don't even know if he hit the right nigga, but whoever he punched, he, that uh, shit uh, hurt. Oh, yeah, right, right. <laughs> that shit hurt. He had his whole body into that punch. Oh. He had they wanted them load up. Like, wait for them to get in the right spot. I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah, you gotta protect your queen out here, man. Sure. Don't be throwing no shit when you're on stage, having our living our best lives. Like jumping right there. Reminds That's me fact. of dipset jumping in the crowd. Yeah, don't, don't let niggas throw drinks at your wife, yo. Hell no. All right? But That's don't true. get beat up. Yeah. Trying to defend her. Yeah. It's a slippery slope. Cause then like she always got ammo. It's when That's when keeping it real goes wrong. That's yeah. a fact. You feel me? Be that one nigga mm-hmm. that go to the club and start shit just so he could practice his karate in real life situations. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Come at me from here, bro. From from this way, though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to. I don't yeah, know how that. to. Uh, do the nigga. Uh, nigga doing mad sound effects while you fight. Nah. And then yo, fucking uh, Antonio Brown. He's been on a downward spiral. So he's uh recently. What, what did he do now? Nah, he's uh, he's, I guess he's trying to turn over a new leaf, man. He apologized to his baby moms, the white chick. Mm-hmm. Oh, he so, said when he said oh, Antonio Brown, I was thinking automatically of assume some. Wait, what? I was thinking of um, oh Orlando Brown. Yeah. Oh yeah, nah, nah. I'm talking about the football <laughs> player who uh, who gotcha. was also wild and not like as much as he was. But. He said, "Daddy, it's your cousin." <laughs> So Go he's apologized to his wife, you know, because he was bashing her. I think we talked about it last week too. Maybe I don't know. Speaking of apology, do we accept on Terry Crews' apology? Did he apologize? That was yeah, a no apology. Apologized. That was like a oh I only got to keep my wife happy kind nah, of. He shit. apologized after that. After that. Oh he, oh he did a release. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He apology. said uh you know he misspoke because people were like approaching him angrily, so I responded in anger. Uh, uh Gabriel Union, you know, I never meant to dis. What do you say? I never meant to like discredit. Yeah, discredit. Mm, like discredit your like experience, but that's exactly what I did, and I'm sorry. Who cares? It's too late. <laughs> yeah, Man. that's pretty it's, much how yeah. it's a whole song about everyone that. felt about it's, it. It's too late to apologize. It's too late to apologize. Yeah, because you you was running with that shit it's too until late. it was days of backlash. Mm-hmm. You already really it, it wasn't your immediate response. You was like, you didn't oh, even. Up- I'm not worried about keeping other women happy. Just my wife. Forget yeah. my daughters, my mothers, all you, of that. You went on TV and then Gabrielle Union tweeted you and was just like, "Yo, fam." What are you? What is you doing? Way yeah, to throw me under doing? the bus, you asshole! <laughs> yeah, like, and from that, it was like, nah, fuck that, nigga. And then you know, like, in that moment, like, why didn't you think in that moment? Oh shit, maybe I am discrediting her. You know, why didn't you look at all the ten million hate tweets you got that said, yo, why are you discrediting this black woman's like right. experience? Like, I don't go fuck Terry Crews. Is, I don't know. Terry yeah. Crews ain't about to put out a movie that's gonna mega impress me with him. See, so he I mean, got that whack ass movie. Coming he's out. never the main guy in his movies anyway. He just nah, he's not the show. Nah, he's about like actual the, movie. He got a new movie coming out. Yeah, he's yeah. like the main. John, yeah, John Henry. Or yeah, some shit like that. I think it's going straight to DVD though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who else is in that shit? Um, <laughs> is that supposed to be like a remake of Steel? 
uh, freaking Ludacris is in that shit. Yeah, hey, with uh, the Ludacris, gold jaw thing. Yeah, Ludacris yeah, yeah, probably yeah, tight yeah, right yeah. now. This nigga fucking up the bag. I don't know. How man. we gonna I mean, go on a press run for a movie? Yeah. Ludacris yeah. and Fast Nine. Yeah, know. yeah. That's that's also something happening too. It's fast Family. Yeah, I heard an Asian nigga coming back. I thought he Yo, died. Yo, that nigga clearly died. You want to really impress me? Nah, I'm not gonna do it. It's not just just not tasteful. <laughs> <laughs> you probably knew where I was going with that, but I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna do that. Watch out for our Patreon <laughs> episode to get the but like yeah, yeah to like, get the shit. Fast buckles. nine, man. <laughs> Fast nine. They doing it again, but bigger, more Vin Diesel and John Cena. This is long lost little brother who. <laughs> Everybody knew about it except the audience, even though we've been watching these niggas for fucking 20 years. <laughs> Never thought to call them when things were getting hot and heavy and real. Or so, like... so they really let go Tyrese? Tyrese saying? Nah, no, Tyrese is dead. Oh, he, he, he back? Yeah, he it's back. It's about family and cause. <laughs> it's but about mostly family. family. <laughs> <laughs> That's why every villain got some family shit going on. <laughs> did, yeah. did, did they bring Ja Rule back? Who? <laughs> Who? A ja Rule. Oh? What did he was he ever in that shit? Yeah, he was in Fast and Furious too. He's the nigga yeah. that lost before the theme song started. Okay. Right. <laughs> he lost that first race before the theme song Did started. he bring on uh, who else was it? Ice Cube? Was Ice Cube part nah, of one of them? I don't them? think so. Oh, it was a Bow Wow. Bow Wow oh, was Bow Wow. Was and, and no, yeah, nah. No. Tokyo Drift's supposed to be in the future or some shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. But, but the, in but the past, the, and they the guy is it. there. The guy is there though. The white guy who was driving the girl, who was mm-hmm. the lead. He's he's in the movie. He had a brief ass cameo. The country dude doesn't like NCIS now. I don't know. Whoever was the lead in Tokyo Drift. That oh yeah, the white guy. Uh, uh, that Bow Wow was the psychic too. Like, <laughs> okay. following him around. I'm trying I to know think what other shit he was in. I know you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah I just can't think of because uh, they went. I guess you know, some scene they go to like mechanics and he's there. Like, it's just like okay, like they they're not gonna just keep ignoring the stepchild that is mm-hmm. Tokyo Drift. Like. Come on, they can't do a family um uh, family thing and not bring Jaru and Bawa back. Come on, they're not family. What, <laughs> <laughs> boy? Jaru lost his race. I don't even think they had Jaru at the end of Fast and Furious Two when they had all the uh, drivers distracting yeah, the villain. Like, like, nah, not at all. How would you rate his acting in that Fast and Furious Two? Or you wouldn't even rate it. What? It's Rue, baby. What other movies have Ja Rule been in? <laughs> That's the answer to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> shit, he was dating That's the, the he was dating the pastor's daughter. What? And what, what Tyler movie? Perry movie? <laughs> what Tyler movie Perry? Is it that? looked Recent? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nah, this was like years ago. I ain't here to talk about nah. that. Damn anyway, a lot yeah. of music, a lot of music came out. You know, this past week. A lot of music came out this lots week. Lots of, lots that's of fact, music. Fact, Did y'all get a fact, chance a to uh, I listen to, listen a lot to of any of them? Music. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mick Jenkins' new EP, The Circus. Mm-hmm. That shit was fire. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. That's Russ Russ dropped some shit, too. I didn't oh. hear that. He dropped the whole project? Yeah. I'm not a, I'm not a Russ fan. He dropped the whole project. I, just... I can't say I've heard. Now, I have, I've heard Russ songs before, but not by <clears> choice. Like, I was somewhere and somebody's playing them. Okay. Is it good? Is it fire? Talk oh, this it? I've heard the song where on uh, him and uh, Rick Ross. Did you hear it on the Joe Budden podcast? Oh no, because oh. he uh, I heard it outside of that. Oh. But that's why I got introduced to it. Gotcha. Was it, it was good. It was pretty good. It's pretty good. That's what's up. And uh, who else? Who else had a project? Uh, I mean, Lil Wayne dropped a new project. Okay. Funeral. Funeral. <laughs> Funeral. It was. It was. It was, it was a project. Right. It was a project. But Wayne can still rap his ass off. Yep. It's just the songs was just so abstract. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was just like it was just it was really just a collection of songs. Mm-hmm. Like it had a it had a mixed up feel. Yeah, but not even like a coat. I hate that fucking word. Yeah, yeah. but it yeah, wasn't. It, it wasn't. It wasn't meshing. It wasn't well. constructed like these were made. For a project, it was just like, yo, oh shit, I got all of these like songs. Like, yeah, yo, just grab some of them and put them in. Yeah, but I did hear at the end of, uh, I think the eighth track on the project, uh-huh. there's 24 seconds of silence in honor of Kobe Bryant. I thought that was cool. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's little that's lit. That's I lit. Know, that. Yeah, um, but um, it's pretty good. It was pretty good. Uh, who else dropped the project? My man, uh, Key Glock dropped the new project. So. That shit was fire. You only got half. Key Glock, Key Yo Glock. Yo Gotti dropped the new album also. Mm-hmm. A lot of drops going on before February. Yeah. This kid, all that. 
Uh, also, Mad Eye Treble, the Crip nigga with the dreads. Mm. He dropped his new project too called Pay Homage. Mm. The production up? on it. It's, it's, it's pretty dope. Right. Yeah. That's what's up. He dropped a video too with it. That video is nice. That was a light skin dude? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think his name is like Mo Dub. Yeah, that's his name, Mo Dub. Mo Dub. Shout out. Or shout out Mo Dub. Now I got to listen to your project. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of good music. Shout out to shout out to Fifty for getting his star too. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. had him and them come up and like give a <laughs> little speech. <laughs> and I feel like Fifty definitely deserves his star. In mm-hmm. Hollywood Dr. Walk Dre looking looking still Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Still Dre, still Dre. <laughs> shout out to him for pulling up. Niggas beating over fact. headphones. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Dre pulled up. Yeah, they had uh fucking uh was Kendrick in the uh, manager. Top dog? Yeah, top dog too. Yeah. That's what's up. That's my nigga. What's up? He had a red hat on? Yeah, it makes it fucking tall. I'm looking nigga, at him like, I know 50 tall hat. for them to be all taller than 50s. Like, okay. Yeah, 50 like 6'1", six, 6'2". Six, I think Dr. Dre is like 6'4". Six, 6'4". Four, six, six, four. Mm-hmm. That's wild. Damn. Never let me slip because if I slip, then I'm slipping. But if I got my Nina, then you know I'm straight tripping. Okay. Yeah, niggas don't know shit about that. Nah, that's that's when you hit that. Hey, okay. <laughs> when <laughs> you don't know shit. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> now we're yo. Who, who else you think deserves a Walk of Fame star? Because I know uh, Ja Rule ain't getting one. <laughs> yo, <laughs> Nick Cannon. Yeah, where he's gonna because he doesn't put a lot of these new new cats on like as far as from social media. Nah, that's a fact. Nick Cannon yeah. doing a lot. Yeah, Nick Cannon and uh, I feel like Fifty got his shit in like a short amount of time too. Because we came out like two thousand two. Yeah, mm. that was like eighteen years. Um, who else? Kevin Hart probably would get one too. I could see that. Yeah, I could see that happening. I don't know much about him to to be saying that, but. Right. Right. Now you get one for being like super famous and impactful. Yeah. And like everybody knows he like works OD hard and shit. So it's like, oh yeah. Right. I really hope Ja Rule don't start talking that he needs one. Like, cause <laughs> you're not, not getting it. He you're not, not getting that shit, dog. Never. <laughs> never. never. Murder that. <laughs> Murder that. Yeah, you know I mean. Oh, uh, who else? That should get oh, yeah, one. Snoop Snoop already got his. Or yeah. Dr. Dre get one already? I feel like he, mm, I don't know. I don't think so. Mm. Interesting. I don't think so. Nigga, where's mine? All right? <laughs> Make y'all niggas laugh for years. Give my shit, fam. Give it up. All right? So what? no power this week. How you feeling about that? You still ready? Did you watch the clip? Did you watch the leak? Nah, nah. Oh, you no power wait. this I week. Even oh, wa- about I ain't even it. watched this shit from last week, They about bro. to change the ending. Yo, bro. Nah, I, I ain't even world. watched this shit from last week. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so, so, something funny is happening with that account. <laughs> oh, it's always the worst. Not nah, this. We'll talk later. <laughs> All right. You <laughs> said something funny is happening. I was so unhappy that I, I that I had a dream about it. Me trying to log in and it didn't work. Oh, your shit wasn't wor- signing you in. Bad. I told you I tried it and I had a dream about it. I couldn't do it in my dream either. <laughs> nigga failed in his sleep. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Sucks to be you. <laughs> the next episode is supposed to be the last one, right? Yep. Yeah. All what right. else you got, man? What else we got? I seen this nigga. Uh, I can't think of his name right now, but dragging his girl out of out of. The oh yeah, Javante Davis. Yeah, niggas is killing him right now. Cause he did what? His girl was in some audience. A nigga walked up to him mad aggressively and he grabbed her out of there. Ooh. He ain't and one he had, like the two security guards behind him was like, "Yo," and was just like, kind of like, yeah. Him he tried to come out and said, "Like I don't, I like I never hit her. All I did was just dragged her out. But the way you yoked the shit out of her to get her out of that seat is like, damn, my nigga, what could possibly be happening behind closed doors? Yeah, he's wilding. And you know your hand is like register. It's a register weapon. That's why I ain't hit her. <laughs> so I kill her if I did. Fucking women online was like, yeah, you see how not one man, even the security guard, stood up to tell that man it was wrong. Da da da." Nigga, ain't I ain't seen no black women getting up to tell him it was wrong. You know they, why? Because nobody wanted to get knocked the fuck out. Yeah, that nigga's a professional fighter. Like, <laughs> you know how you go to job and you're professional at taxes? Like, yeah. I fight, nigga, for a living. 
I'm not about to tell this nigga <laughs> be less aggressive. You know, it's probably, this is the security and the police's business. You feel me? Not I didn't many, see niggas in the crowd calling the police. What? I've seen plenty of people get slapped trying to intervene in domestic issues. Mind your business. You feel me? <laughs> you Public guys heard about uh name. so this 18 year old chick in of course Florida. You know, uh she uh used the dating app POF to set up a nigga and rob him. Typical story. I ain't nothing new. Nothing new, right? But of course the dummy is gonna uh set up the date at her grandma's house. So nigga shows up to her grandma's house, niggas he didn't even get to the door. Guys run up out from like I don't know, maybe down the block or some shit, but they run up. Uh, uh, they rob him. Shorty comes out. She meets him. She's like, what happened? He's like, yo, I just got robbed. She's like, yo, that's crazy. Go back in the house. Now, the nigga feels like he set her up, so he calls the cops. Like, yo, I came, I came out here. I got robbed right in front of your crib. This is her grandma's house. Of course, they investigate, and then they find out, yeah, she's connected to the niggas that, you feel me? They caught those niggas, like, the next day and all that. Crazy Florida. <laughs> I just probably live next door. Bring up the fact that POF was involved in some shit like this. Like, I'm not surprised. I got another Florida never story. never Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? I got like, another Florida story. Oh, you got another? I heard it in the radio. Oh, what you, oh what's going on in Florida, man? They crazy. This though. nigga mother sent them to go rob a bank. What? Not a bank. They said uh, if if it uh, if it was a bank, it would be understanding. It was another store. They mentioned bank, but it wasn't the bank. Mm. She gave him a note to go give it to the lady, so the lady could read it. As far as like why she sent out her son to go rob this place. Wow. And if they don't give the money, what her son is gonna do? Her son is like fucking thirteen. Wow. So this nigga pulled up to the counter and was like, my mother told me to give you this. She's the one that sent me to come rob this place. Can you please, <laughs> can, can you please read this? No. <laughs> no, that's your mother. <laughs> is that your mother, pump too? Yo, what? That is wild. What is going on in America? Yeah. So the, the kid was so young, he had a gun, but he couldn't do nothing about it. They ended up arresting him. Asking him for his for his address and his mother's number, the nigga gave it all up. So now <laughs> they arrested his mother, <laughs> and I'm sure she pissed at him because yeah. she feels like he didn't follow that. Yeah, you can't just get up one day and be like, yeah, "I'm about to send my kid to go rob a bank." <laughs> Yo, you out of control, me? man. And to write a note to explain to the uh, to the lady at the counter what your son is there for. First of all, why are you putting your son through that? Out of control, bro. <laughs> yeah, why he got to do it? Hey, bitch, I'm trying to play ball today. Yo, <laughs> niggas is bugged. Did anybody watch the Grammys this year? No, he was here. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I, I've, I've, I never watched the Grammys, so. But yeah. I heard it had the lowest ratings in, like, its history Where? this year. Yeah. So, Super like, Bowl, Super Bowl, Super Bowl. That's happening today. Today, today, right, today right now? Yep. Yeah, I think I'm like an hour I, Man, I don't even remember the last time I've seen a football game. Go. Yeah, but that Kobe Bryant shit was happening last week. Nobody trying to watch. Niggas was tuning in to ESPN and shit thinking about yeah. Kobe. So speaking I think of- J-Lo and somebody else Latin is doing the uh, halftime yeah. thing. Halftime show? Yeah. Mm. I hope they bring out Ashanti to sing all those J-Lo songs. Yeah, like what the... That what she is sings. J-Lo about to sing? Like, I mean, I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure she... like I can't re- remember... They, they wouldn't do J-Lo like that. What's a J-Lo song that you can bop to like? Name a J name a J Lo song you was like, oh that's my shit. Oh, the ones I've that Ashanti wrote. Like, but it's the She got one song with Fab that I fuck with. It's an old, old ass song, but she got a song with Ja Rule, I think. She got that Waiting for Tonight song. I remember that for the craziest mm-hmm. reason I'm not gonna discuss. Mm-hmm. I don't really She know. got something with Fat Joe. She got that song with Fat Joe. She she better bring Fat Joe out there. I don't I don't really know her for her music. Yeah, like I just know her for that for that movie that she did with um is it Ice Cube? Oh, the, Anaconda. Um, yeah, that and also from like Living in Color. Mm. Mm. Those are the two places I know. Mm. Yo, that's what happened when they like <laughs> send your shit to Africa. Like we was watching in Living Color. <laughs> he was watching Living in Color. <laughs> it's just happy to see the show. 
<laughs> with Keenan Winans. <laughs> in living it's, color. A, it's a mix between living single and in living color. It's like, it's a That's black crazy. woman who owns a magazine, but does sketch comedy. Like, <laughs> yo. That's funny. Yo, speaking of, uh, I don't know. What the you hell better speak of it. Speaking of what? It just reminded me of some shit in, uh, uh, what's that shit? Uh, living single. Uh, oh, they got, I, oh, yeah, David. Yeah, David Schwimmer who, from Friends was like, yo, they should do an all black or all Asian reboot of Friends. And uh chick, one of the chicks from um In Living Single yeah, was like Maxine, I think. Yeah, she was like, um, nigga, Friends was a ripoff of In Living Single, which was an all black show. Like, yeah. Oh honestly. yeah, she should def I was definitely seen a clip about that. She was talking about them how much they got paid compared to what the Friends cast mm-hmm. got paid. Oh, yeah. Friend cast was getting paid millions of dollars. Of course. An episode. An episode. They were getting like fifty, she said like fifty thousand every week. Something, something to that matter. I'm not surprised. I know Joey in particular got a lot of money. They got a spinoff. <clears throat> Had a spinoff. I know uh, the dude David. He was pumping like, yeah. I was a, I was always trying to like pump diversity. I was always trying to make sure like we introduce like more diverse characters. Maybe he like maybe my character would like meet an Asian woman and like they get together or, like you know maybe an African American woman later on down the line. Like I, I was a big advocate for getting diversity on the show. I knew that we didn't have any. I looked around. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I felt like we was all out of diversity. Like, hey, why didn't you guys go get more diversity when you used it? But I don't know. But uh, Friends rips off. Friends was a beloved show. I fucked with Friends. I did. I did. And, and David Schwimmer did have a black girlfriend on that show. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Interesting shit. It's just like, what? Right. Just goes to show you how clueless white people are. Yep. They they steal. They don't even remember. The only, sh- the only show I like from white people is Pawn Shop. You real white. From the History Channel. Wow. <laughs> you real white. You know what show it had? Yeah, I know you real okay. white. That's how you know you lived oh, yeah, upstate for a bit. <laughs> yeah, that used to be my shit. <laughs> when you watching shit, it's like, I would have never saw this in the city. I never saw this in an in a urban area. What was going yeah. on out here? Fuck only, me. only like that one show from white people and that one song from white people. Red Solo Cup. <laughs> I fill you up. <laughs> Let's have a party. <laughs> That's what they used to play on the way to the lynchings. So. Dad, <laughs> I don't know if that changes how you feel about the song. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tough listen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fucking miss being upstate, bro. Yo, you stop moving, man. a nostalgic. Miss, yeah, like the, know, the, the channels, the TV. You don't get that in the city, bro. Yeah, back in the days when your crack houses were separated and right? like six stories up. <laughs> good old times. Good times. I don't know what else is going on in the streets, yeah, man. You yeah, know, I feel a, like, are we missing stuff? I mean, I um, guess the Super Bowl is pretty big, but niggas will be watching football, so it's like, it ain't, yeah, no, it ain't okay. that big over here. Like, I had something else on the list, but as far as, like, fucking Pastor Choi coming at a little Nas X. For what, being gay? For his homophobic yeah. ways, yeah. Yo, read it. <laughs> <laughs> you never heard of this shit? No. Yo. He <laughs> <laughs> said, well, guess I won't be winning a Grammy if this what I got to wear. They love to push this shit on our kids. The other day, Applebee's had some punks kissing and laughing, eating eating mozzarella sticks. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> first thing, it, it's first it. thing, my fourteen year old son said, "Fuck Applebee's," and it brought joy to my heart. He sees it. <laughs> the agenda, he sees the agenda to take out masculinity from men, black men especially. Some may say he making money. RuPaul do too. But I ain't bumping his CD. <laughs> Integrity's priceless. You have to open that third eye and let your sons know what, what's real. Or their ass gonna be headed down to the old town road for real. Yo, aye, who, aye. who said that? Pastor, Pastor Troy. Troy. Dad. I, want, I just want everybody to know that Pastor Troy was not winning a Grammy. <laughs> no time soon. So, shout out to Pastor Troy. He was though. not even I getting mean, invited to the Grammy. Little no Nas X soon. outfit was a little bit yeah, that nigga dressed like the gayest of Dr. Jerome's androids. Yeah. 
That nigga was. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like, that, nah, he really dressed like a nigga from JoJo's Bizarre Circus. Nah, right? OD. Yeah, he, he was got definitely a, a JoJo character. It was, it was no surprise to me. That nigga already said he. Yeah, he got know. that fit I mean, in like yeah. six colors. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah so it's like how many <laughs> more ways can you do yeah, Cowboy? He, he didn't win because he was gay. It was a, <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it was a good remix. It, it yeah, took it was, over the what charts. Was it the video? Like, yeah, you want for like the video for Old Town Road? I'm not yeah, surprised. No, Old Town no Road. I think it was like a, a commercial or some shit. Oh, wow. You could win a Grammy for a commercial? No, 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 no. I'm telling like as far as like the outfit, because I've seen another outfit in the commercial. Oh, yeah, no, nah, he wears those outfits. But I'm okay. saying like, what did he win the Grammy for? Uh, that I'm not sure. Not sure. Yeah, I don't think he won it because he was gay. Like, nah, nah. that song like really blew the fuck up. He just happened to be gay. You performed a new song with uh, Nas. Oh yeah, so oh, yeah, Nas. Yeah, he does I have to go that listen new, to that that mm-hmm. new song. It's called seen, um, Oh yeah, it's, oh yeah, that shit happened this week. Uh, Khalees was talking about uh, Nas again. <laughs> Saying mm-hmm. what possibly? Because she possibly. Positive. And oh, she, was, she also mentioned the fact that uh, yeah, for real, she was for like real. how. Niggas stole her publishing or some shit and had her sign a deal for the first two albums, but she didn't make no money. And you know, she's tired of being quiet. Like Pharrell does this thing when he's performing, like he makes eye contact with somebody in the crowd and gives him like a little nod. So she was like, you know, instead of me being like, I don't fuck with you, you did fucked up shit to me, I just nodded back. But that lets niggas think that, you know, we cool and we not. Mm. You know, I'm tired of tired of trying to protect the sanctity of black men, like. Um, <laughs> guess boys ain't coming to the yard no more. Right? It's also ties into this whole Diddy and May shit as far mm-hmm. as publishing. Oh um, yeah, that definitely was pretty where, big. Well, well, who's to blame in these situations? Like, I mean, you signed it, you know, so it's like, oh, you didn't know. It's like, well, you, you could have paid a little bit more attention to that. Read a book. I don't want to victim blame, but if you're gonna be the victim, then you you got to take a little blame there. The thing with that is, is like, all right, um, it's fucked up, but everybody was doing that fucked up shit. So yeah. it's standard practice. It's not till years later you could be like, oh, this is fucked up. At the same time, it's like, oh yeah, no, you you signed this, like, yeah, this, you was you was willing <clears throat> to participate when yeah. the money was here, when it was up front in your face. You was like, I right, bet I'll take that signing bonus, and I'm not gonna really worry about all that other shit because. You know, for whatever external reason you may have had in your head. Maybe you thought this relationship was more than that of yeah, a business partnership. You would think after all this, you know, allegation with artists against labels and things like that, that people will be more serious about actually learning music business and also how contract goes. So, like, yeah. you won't have to solely depend on your lawyer to tell you everything. Like, you, you know. Could, Read too, feel me? Yeah. You know as well what? that everybody is now like going off on Diddy for being fucked up, <clears throat> right? But at the same time, when this nigga Joe Budden was yelling at Lil Yachty, like, why don't you know what your paperwork says? Mm, he was everybody was mad at Joe, Joe Budden, Budden yeah. for screaming at poor little Yachty. Who yeah, didn't know Tell he about, had nah, a he's a kid. Chill. Like, nah, he's a kid. Like, ah, <laughs> yeah, but you know, Mace was a kid, and now we mad at Diddy for doing the same shit. Yeah, I just was mad at a nigga for telling another young person to look into it because it'd be happening to niggas. Yeah, you know, I don't know. and <laughs> I wanted to know, like, because Mace was like he was trying to buy his shit back. Mace had Mace had like two million to put on to put up for his shit back. That so means it's worth more than yeah, two the million. Yeah, the shit, the shit worth more than that. Yeah, I, I know just... that, but it's like, all right, if you're not getting the money from like you know like royalties and all the old shit, you know, he own your masters and shit. Where the where the hell did Mace get two million dollars to just throw up like that? Like, oh, he's running I, a church. That's what he said. He had to like get his money. Remember, they did that whole big ass bad boy tour. Mm. Mace like mm. still does shows every now and then. Oh yeah, overseas. Like with the publishing, like it's not the it's not that you don't get no money. Well, okay. it depends on like okay. the percentage, but okay. it's like you feel me. Like the publishing <clears throat> is just more so like yo, if you go on tour, you sell merchandise, mm. you do all of that shit. It has nothing to do with me. I still get a piece of the money. So he probably signed a deal where he gave away most of his shit. Mm. So it's like, oh yeah, like. I want my shit back so I can move how I want to move because I can't do certain things because you're going to be making more money off of it than me. Right. And I'd rather just not do it. Hence why. He's and also, also that that opportunity and that shine that labels give you from Jump, mm-hmm. 
you can't really it's hard to put a price on that too yeah nah you probably could it's it's just really the fact that you you signed that paper right yeah, but I'm just saying, like, if if when you're fighting for buy your shit back, you should also take that into consideration, and also the amount of money that your shit is making for mm-hmm. that other person. Yeah, take or that could into possibly too. make, a or could possibly make. Where it's like, yeah, that's what he was like. Yeah, you would sell it to this. <clears throat> if you if I can match the price the other dude wants to pay it for, mm-hmm. yeah, niggas, this is a fucking business. Like, yeah, you're gonna give me two million dollars for I could set off a tour right now and. Through streaming and all kind of shit, I can make like fucking 15, 20 million dollars off of this. Yeah, I think I think if you can't, if they're not trying to sell everything, at least try to try to increase your percentage. I liked when um yeah, who was that Joe when he was like, part of the problem is like Mace took time off because mm-hmm. if this was like a constant thing of like you been knew your shit was fucked up and you been vocal about it nonstop. It'd be more so like, damn, you still ain't give this nigga his shit. But like, you played along with it. You ain't say nothing. And he was just like, Until I don't want nigga. Yeah. I didn't understand the concept of like, now nah, I waited till I had, I, my money was in a good spot. So I didn't look bitter. Nigga, I could be the richest nigga on <laughs> earth. And like, yo, I want my shit back. Like, I would still be bitter that you took my shit. I got to read them contracts, man. Yeah, man. You feel me? Reading is fundamental. Like, you feel me? Everything with <clears throat> money. Read those contract and if something happened and go wrong. That'd be the weird shit I'll too. Your cause, lawyer. <laughs> Cause it's always street niggas like that's like like I can understand like the fucking like I don't know these niggas in the street, like De La Soul and shit. Whereas like they still fighting with Tommy Boy to get like their masters back or whatever. And Tommy Boy been doing fucked up shit to niggas for years. Like But if you like a street nigga and it's like you already should have an understanding of like business transactions through selling drugs. Like you understand what it is with money up front, money on the end, collateral and all of that shit. It's like niggas show y'all a large sum of money and y'all just be signing shit. You know, don't let that current situation dictate your future. Cause now yeah. look, you're 20 years in and now you want your shit back. And it's just you like, oh, me? you think yeah. it's worth the same it was when I got it from you? Like, nah. nah I they, done, probably, I, they probably made way more what? than two million. I, I don't know what this mean. shit like crazy since you was here. Now, what incentive would I have besides me being that kind of a person to yeah, give you I, this? I understand like, from that. From a business still, standpoint, doesn't make sense. I understand that there could still be like hidden fees, something hidden stuff that you may not know about, but at least own something. Own something. Niggas be bugging. Yeah. But then again, also, like when Mace was signed, it was a completely different kind of like er- <clears throat> era in where hip hop was as a, you know, as an entity. It was like, oh, yeah, like, especially Diddy. Diddy, like, yo, I'm starting this shit. Shit starting to click. Like, oh, yeah, I'm about to make sure I set myself up so that this shit lasts for the next 30 years. Yeah, but he also years. does a lot of shit where it's like, I don't know the full percentage that he has, mm-hmm. but like, I feel like he earned part of that percentage where it's like, oh yeah, like now I make beats. I got the whole production team nah, here. He, and you make it seem, you I watch Diddy the, and how he works. He always makes sure his shit is set up in a way so it's like, mm-hmm. oh no, this is a machine. Like, mm-hmm. we're going to get you in here and we're going to crank out these songs and they're going to be hits and everybody's going to be happy for the most part. Yeah, quick question. I want to, when you, when artists collab with other artists as far as like, Make, either making a song or making a project. Mm. Do they? Do you pay the other? Do you, do you pay the feature artist up front, or you pay them? And however that money that project make, you also owe them on that too. It depends what you negotiate. Yeah, I was about mm-hmm. to say that. That would have to depend on the two parties involved. Like mm-hmm. typically, I would assume that someone would want, you know. Uh, the payment. Some you front. probably wouldn't get the yeah, yeah. whole thing up front. Yeah, like, like you, yo, you, write you, your you're gonna pay it. niggas up front. Okay, and let me hear it. And right. the percentage of like publishing and shit is to be discussed. To be di- oh, okay. And it's like okay. you know, if say like we do a song, I pay you like twenty thousand mm-hmm. dollars, and you'd be like, all right, cool. Like the way the publishing works is out of two hundred percent. So I could give you one percent or like. 190%. I'll give you anything in that 200%. So say I give you like 10%, mm-hmm. but you got a publishing deal with somebody else who says they get 65% of your shit. So now they're getting 65% of your $10 or whatever. Like you get what I'm saying? So it goes into that. Some niggas, I don't know. I think it was like, mm-hmm. 
Is it is is it smart to get all your money up front compared to relying on the percentage depending on how the song goes? Nah, you gotta do both. Bro. Yeah, Just you always want to do both because you will never know what goes and what, what doesn't go. You yeah. know, you, you never know you what's going to be a old town road or not. Like if know? I'm the hottest nigga ever, like when Two Chains is the hottest nigga ever. So oh yeah, I could charge niggas two hundred thousand dollars for a verse. Little Wayne used to charge niggas like seven hundred fifty thousand, like seventy five thousand for a verse, some crazy shit. And that was in two thousand seven when this nigga was on over seventy songs. You get what I'm saying? So it's like I, right. I heard this nigga wife and Lucci getting people, niggas sending him money through Cash App and he ain't sending no verse back. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Oh, see, that's not good business. That's Cash App got a legally business. bonding contract. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good business practice. And niggas right is there. sharing text, like, you know, text showing that. Yeah, he's like, yeah, sent that money through. I sent, sent you the verse and everything. He ain't saying nothing back. <laughs> Imagine you in New York and the niggas, where, where, wherever the fuck he is. Hey, man, he going to do that to the wrong person and end up niggas in gonna court. He's going to pull up. He's going to end up in court. Or, no fucking or worse, Cash so niggas pull up on him. You know? Cause that's a easy. Oh yeah, yo, I, I asked this guy to do a song with me. I paid him. I didn't get my my payment. I mean, I didn't get what I paid for. Like I'm about to sue this nigga. Oh yeah, no, nah, you can't do that through cash. You gotta do that through fucking PayPal. Cause it gotta be invoices and shit. Straight up. Can it can also? I mean, that could be a bit tricky. It could be the motherfucker that's controlling the nigga's social media. Cause you know how artists be having a team mm-hmm. to like run their shit. Nah, OD. So niggas could be taking other people money that I have nothing. In, I don't know nothing about. And I go to a town to do a show, and some random niggas pulls up to me like, "Yo, I need my money back." Like, what is you talking about? <laughs> and stole on you like? <laughs> like I said, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that'd be horrible. Ah, uh, what else? Any closing got, statements? Yeah, yeah. Um, I really got shit else um, on my docket. Shout out to Wiz Khalifa, that beautiful performance that he did at the Staples Center. Oh, okay. Yeah, that song, that song would never go old. That song is Oh, yeah, the Kobe tribute? Yeah. That shit had me fucking tearing up. Well, Kilo that, had me crying like twice this week. I didn't even get through the whole part. I didn't get to see Wiz. To see, nah, nah, nah. I you got like the... Usher open. I saw the you know the yeah, cello. Usher, was... Usher did pretty good too. Nah, Usher, Usher did pretty good. It's Usher man, he can yeah. sing Usher, his ass off. Like, you know, that's yeah. a guarantee. So they drop down. The the tribute was beautiful, by the way. Mm-hmm. For I didn't like I said I didn't get to see the whole thing, but I'm mm-hmm. definitely planning on rewatching it. I stopped right in the middle. It's just like yo impact. I think they put a uh, Kobe Bryant and his daughter's picture on like the tallest building in the world in like oh, Dubai. Her? Where? Uh, I forgot what nice. that shit is called. Nice. I know they got a mural in Los Angeles. They just did. Mm. That's dope. That's Some wild man. shit, man. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Or shout out to all of y'all niggas for tuning in. Uh, you know, if y'all watch the Super Bowl, I just want y'all know y'all part of the racial construct. That. Uh, <laughs> That's all I got to say. Can't, I can't participate in a festivity. Everybody at a Super Bowl party. Listen, man, you can do what you want to do. The However, hot wings, the fries. I'm going to judge you. <laughs> if you had a Super Bowl party and you ain't the mentioned Kaepernick, <laughs> come on. You feel me? Talk about it. Niggas going to be dead with the Kaepernick jersey on. <laughs> Watching all the commercials we've seen on the internet already. <laughs> Fucking, uh, yeah, that's it, man. Yo, favorite song video. Boom, we yeah, we had the we had the finish line with that. Got yeah. this new project in the works. Make sure y'all go stream our music everywhere. Follow us everywhere at Venture Clan. Hit the IG at Venture Clan. That's Clan with a K. Hit the website, VentureClan.com. Go get your merchandise. Follow the podcast <laughs> IG at Something Venture Podcast. Make sure you like, share, comment, and all of that shit. Subscribe to the YouTube, youtube.com backslash Venture Clan. Yeah. All right. Uh we got some big things in the work. All right. You feel me? And um, yeah, that's all I have. It's right. episode 71. We in the 70s. Mm-hmm. You feel mm-hmm. me? We got to come up with a clever name for this decade. <laughs> uh, Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's it, man. Yeah, we out of here. All, all right. right. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, that'd be crazy if y'all sat through this whole episode, didn't like, subscribe, or leave a comment. Even more crazy if they don't click on this next video right here. Yo, go watch the next video. It's right there. Go watch it. I'll wait.